How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Street Fighter Vlog. In today's episode, I'm going to be breaking down uh, Akuma vs Rose match that um, against one of my very good training buddies. His name is Koji, he's a very strong Akuma player and I think this video is going to be helpful for anyone who's interested in learning more about either Akuma or Rose. Um, I, th I think after watching this video, you're going to have a better understanding of Akuma and Rose, some of their strengths and weaknesses. And also, I thought I'd share my process of uh, how I improve in this game, which is analyzing replays. And I think if anyone is in interested in improving in this game, like really serious in taking your game to the next level, I think uh, analyzing replays is the way to go. You, you can really figure out exactly where you went wrong and focus in on uh, how you can uh, improve and change your game. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright, so let's go. So right off the bat, you can see uh, what he does here, which is go for this dive kick. And this dive kick is very effective against Rose because it changes the timing of your jump in attack. And you can see that I did my crouch heavy punch trying to trying to catch his normal jump in. But uh, because he did dive kick, he's able to beat my crouch heavy punch. So this is uh, actually very... one of... One of the annoying ways that Akuma can really mess up Rose's NTS. And um, not just Rose, but any character without an anti air DP, actually. Yeah, so, uh, but because he does the dive kick so late, he's not able to actually get a combo off of this. So it's good to take note of that uh, while he can mess up your anti air, uh, you know, at least it doesn't lead to a combo if he does it too late. So yeah, moving on, uh, goes for the demon flip over there, and okay, so you can see right, right here, right, like he goes for the demon flip palm. I try to crouch heavy punch and tear it, but it leads to a trade, and I don't quick rise because I'm not ready for it, right? And because I don't quick rise, he actually pushes me all the way into the corner, and you can see like it's barely been five seconds into the round, like ninety five seconds, and I'm already in the corner against Akuma. Like how ridiculous is that, right? But well played by him, good decision making and definitely Akuma in the corner is where he can really shine because he can start pressuring you with his very fast walk speed and his his stand medium kick is just ridiculous as a wave punish. Alright, so over here what happens is uh, just randomly mashing a DP which is actually quite a good decision uh, because after Rose's crouch light kick, she's actually zero. Uh, you can look at the frame advantage here. Um, after, so after this uh, forward heavy punch from Akuma, he's actually minus two, right? So when you block this move, it's always a good idea to take your turn back and start pressing buttons. I go for a crouch light kick, and uh, in between my string, he just mashes DP. Because after crouch light kick, Rose is actually zero. She doesn't get frame advantage, so. Even if I do a crouch light punch here, this DP will actually beat the crouch light punch. So you can see how aggressive this guy is like. So confident in his reach, right? And that's Koji for you. Alright, so after after that, uh, dashes forward and he gets a setup over here, goes for a crouch medium punch. Uh, I try to press some buttons in between. And over here you can see like you can see like why it's so annoying when Akuma corners you because he can basically stand outside of the range of your normals, like he does here. And he's able to whiff punish any... Oh, there's Koji sending me an invite. <laughs> Alright, uh, we'll play him later, but I'll uh, just finish this for now. Uh, so, basically he can stand outside the range of your normals and punish and really whiff, play a very strong whiff punish game. And it's very hard for you to press anything, right? His stand medium kick, I think it's... 5 frames start up, so it comes out really fast. And uh, over here, I just caught on to his pattern, right? Like, I noticed he was doing stand medium kick, walk forward, stand medium kick, st uh, walk forward. So, it comes too predictable, I just throw out my heavy punch there and catches him. And uh, one good way to get yourself out of the corner is uh, whenever Akuma goes for this, which is something Akuma's like to go for, which is a stand medium kick into the red fireball, right? It's actually not a true block string. So you can actually DP out of this in between after you block the stand medium kick 
Or you can go for a V reversal when you see him do his straight fireball. Or you can also do a V reversal. So these are some of the few options that you can do uh, to get yourself out of the corner against Akuma. But of course, easier said than done. Uh, it's, it's very hard to react to. Uh, of course, in this case, I was looking out for this specific fireball, so I was able to react to it and punish with the EX Soul Spiral. And you can see what happens here is I'm afraid to throw a fireball because I'm I'm afraid that he might go for like a he quick rise, and I'm afraid of like some demon flip shenanigans. So I didn't throw a fireball, and what he does is just dash forward. And now I wasn't ready for the dash, and now I'm back in the corner and uh, trying to play some defense over here. Once again, using the dive kick over there. And so like, what happens here is once he's established this very strong threat of dive kick, you know, I'm always looking out for this damn dive kick. And then he goes for this unexpected <coughs> cross sub attack, which I didn't expect because I've been in the corner the whole freaking game, right? So I didn't expect this cross up. So catches me off guard which lands him a full combo and goes for some starter like kick catches me pressing buttons and over there um, that's actually a dead zone for Rose if you go back and rewind the video uh, if you do a jump in from that range Rose has problems endearing from that range so uh, you can actually get a jump in on, on Rose okay so round 2 starts and right off the bat like you can see like there's a lot of mind games involved like over here i'm actually looking out for a fireball right i'm actually looking out for a fireball i'm ready to react to it with a slide or the ex spiral but what he does is just dash forward and i wasn't ready for it it's a very aggressive move but it pays off so i'm forced to block this and here he goes for a follow-up fireball which i'm looking out for and i managed to punish it with the soul spiral in this case so this is the very strong neutral uh, neutral tool from rose that uh, definitely if you're playing rose you want to take advantage of this to go through fireballs and land some it does quite a bit of damage 140 damage so definitely uh try to use it whenever you can to punish fireballs okay wait koji <laughs> he wants he wants uh he wants a rematch this guy a very strong player like a uh, side note like i always play him and he's helped me improve with my game uh in a very it's, it's good to have someone that that how to say like it's good to have someone as a training buddy that forces you to improve at the game right so what happens here is right so akuma has this move the air fireball which is a very rewarding move that if you land on Rose, uh, you'll get to do a full combo on her and carry her to the corner. So obviously as Rose, you want to stop this. And one reliable one reliable way to stop this is through the use of her DP and TF. You can see that it actually, I'm, I'm using the heavy one, it actually beats out this air fireball. You can actually react to the fireball and do the DP. So it's easier said than done, of course, because he can always just go for a normal jump in. And when he does a normal jump in, uh, you know, because this move doesn't have invincibility, uh, you can actually get stuffed most of the time. But once you land this DPS Rose, you actually get Oki, you just dash forward, and you're actually plus 9 over here. So you can go for like Meaty Throw, Meaty Attack, you can even go for Shimi. In this case, I went for a Meaty Attack, and he immediately replies <laughs> with a Wake Up DP. So it's like the first, the first time I've landed this in the whole game. And he replies straight away with this wake up EXDP. It's a very good read by him. And uh, now I'm forced to play defense again. So just trying to... Alright, so this is one also very strong tool in Rose's neutral game, which is the slide. But it's easier to do... Uh, I mean, it's hard to... It's really hard to do uh, in, in an actual match because... This move doesn't have invincibility on its startup, so you have to give yourself a bit of a buffer. Like, you can't do it exactly when the fireball is right in front of you. You have to wait. You have to do it around here when it's somewhere near you, but not directly in front of you. Like, over here. You do it over here. And I'm actually plus 4 here. You can see the frame advantage that I have uh, at the top right. And what happens here is I go for this crouch medium punch, which whiffs, and he immediately punishes with a stand medium kick into a tatsu 
So very good sequence here by him. Goes for a stand main kick into Tatsu and then immediately goes for the demon flip into the grab. So I think after analyzing this, like what you can do in this situation as if you're playing against Akuma is after he does his medium kick Tatsu, he can actually go for this demon flip into a grab if you quick rise. So I think one good way to avoid this is to do a back rise after you if you if you somehow eat this medium kick into Tatsu, medium Tatsu, do a back recovery so he doesn't get this meaty throw. And maybe all he can do is the palm, in which case you can just block, right? In this case, he goes for the throw, wasn't ready for it, I was looking for a palm, and then goes for the throw, I managed to tag that one. And uh, over here, he whiffs his stand medium punch, which I react to with a sweep. But, uh, wasn't fast enough, but thankfully, he was walking forward, and plus I was going to activate anyway. So, sweep activate, knocks him down. So what's the mix up here? I go for a stand medium punch meaty, which I totally missed time. So I totally missed time my meaty, and he throws me out of the corner. And see what the... Yeah, so this is a very annoying, like... I can't really NTM here. So I ha I'm, fo I'm kind of forced to block this jump, cross up jump attack. And then after Akuma's crouch medium punch, he's actually plus three, right? <clears throat> so in this case, I was predicting a walk forward by him. I was trying to jab him out of it, but he still manages to throw me. So you can see jabbing after blocking this crouch medium punch is, is not a good idea. It's really not a good idea on uh, as a defensive option. I think what I would have liked to, to see myself do over here in this situation is a back dash after this crouch medium punch. I think back dash is a good defensive option because if he goes for a throw, I get the back dash out. If he goes for like some walk forward into another crouch medium punch, I also get the back dash out. The only thing it loses to if I back dash is if he goes for like after this crouch medium punch, if he goes for a crouch medium kick, right? I think it loses to that or a stand medium kick. So, a lot of mind games here, he goes for the throw, which I take, and after the throw, he goes for this fireball, which I should have reacted with the EX Soul Spiral, but wasn't fast enough. So definitely, I think you should be looking out as Rose, if you're playing as Rose, uh, you know, th these kind of situations where if you're fighting against fireball characters, after throws, after knockdowns, always look out for them doing a fireball and try to punish it with your EX Soul Spiral. Don't give them like free fireballs, basically. Managed to punish that one over here. And uh, now we're back to the fireball wall. And wasn't ready, like, you see how effective this move is? Like, it's hard to react to. I mean, I was, I thought he would just do like a normal jump. And that, so I was afraid to anti air because I was out of range. But he did a fireball and over here he's, he's plus, he's still plus, so I'm forced to block. And now I'm playing a bit of footsies here. I spend my V gauge over here, do a fireball. And I don't think, I think it doesn't go cross up. So I was, I was aiming to do a cross up fireball here. But I think we were too close. Yeah, you can see that it didn't it didn't hit cross up. So I think I guess one thing to take note of is if you're playing as Rose is to is to really know the distance in which you can do a cross up fireball. And I think this is too close to do a cross up fireball. I think if Akuma was maybe like just a couple of inches back, you know, maybe one inch further away, this would have been a cross up. But he actually walked forward here, which maybe. Oh, you know what? Maybe it was a cross. It was going to be a cross up, but because Akuma, his walk speed is so fast, right? He actually walked forward and blocked this fireball, which totally eliminates the cross up threat. So I guess that's one good way to deal with the cross up fireball is if you're able to just walk forward, block, walk forward, block. You can always block the fireball early, and you don't have to deal with the left right mix up, right? So anyway, I learned the jump in attack here and. Uh, very dangerous situation over here. Akuma is full bar, and uh, you know he can always do a EXDP into V trigger activate. And of course, 
he knows I think he knows that I know he has full bar but I also know that he knows he has full bar <laughs> right so that's the mind game here I just go for a meaty stand medium punch which catch, catches him pressing buttons and uh, so very dangerous situation over here you know Akuma has uh, Akuma actually has when when he has V trigger and he has full bar you know you really have to watch out for the soup for the raging demon and I think what he does here he's, he dashes forward you can see his inputs on the left like he's actually inputting the demon uh, and I'm just like no let me get the fuck out of there I'm just jumping away and uh, for some reason the demon didn't come out and so we're back into this neutral situation all right and nice little uh, EX spiral to go so that's one good answer to the neutral jump EX fireball is uh, the EX Soul Spiral from Rose. Alright, moving on to the final round. And right off the bat, you can see like, I don't have meter here. So he doesn't have to worry about Soul Spiral. So he starts off right away with the Hadoukens. And I predict this second Hadouken, which is uh, totally a prediction. It's a very risky jump, but it pays off. And I land this jump in attack. And this is why like, it's so, like, I think I get blown up by this a lot because, you know, you, you really, it's a, it's hard to not press anything, you know, it's hard to just block sometimes. You really always want to be, especially for me, I always want to be pressing something. I always want to be, you know, I have itchy fingers. So over here I'm tacking, but he catches this tack with the four heavy punch. And that lands like so much damage on me and pushes me all the way to the corner, right? So maybe I should, maybe a, a thing to note is try not to tag as much and if you really do feel like a throw is coming a good option to escape the throw would be either to jump out or back dash but i'm also not sure if this forward heavy punch catches the back dash i know it, i know it beats b shift so very annoying move here and right away after i tag he goes for this throw so you can see how scary his offense is right like like ha, i know you don't want to tag now so now i go for the throw and over here, I didn't know that Akuma is actually, um, like you see, after he throws, after he throws, Akuma throws you, he actually doesn't get any setup. If he dashes forward, you can look at the frame advantage, he's actually minus four here. So definitely look out for this situation where if Akuma throws you and he dashes forward, uh, make sure to uh, punish this and take your turn back, right? React to the dash. And definitely shouldn't be eating this stand medium kick. Alright, so you can see here what happens is... So one good answer to this red, uh, red fireball is a reversal, right? But the problem with that is... If you react to the... If you do it too early... Like in this case, I was predicting a fireball here. So I did the reversal, which he cancels into a demon. So this is one of the many mix-ups Akumas has. Uh, yeah, Akumas have. So, somehow goes unpunished and I managed to throw him in the corner. And over here, he's very smart. Like, let me explain what he's doing here. So, after I throw him in the corner, I'm looking out for some jump, right? I, I just want to maintain corner control as Rose. I don't want to let him get out of the corner and put myself back in the corner. So at all costs, I'm just waiting for him to jump and right away he jumps but he covers his jump with a air fireball which catches me off guard because I'm trying to anti air him right so very smart play there by Akuma using the air fireballs as sort of a cover so over here you can see again like he did it once and then he does it again and this time around I was trying to really trying to stop his jump with the crouch heavy punch but he lands this air fireball on me and I think he's he's trying to use this as a distraction, use this sequence as a distraction to like jump out again. So you can see like he's trying to use all of this as a distraction to jump out. And over here, I'm not having any of that. I stop his jump out immediately. And I'm afraid, I'm really afraid because he's conditioned, he's shown like his, he's shown how he can do EXDP. Uh, earlier on, I'm I'm quite afraid of the EXDP here. I go for like 
a stand medium punch, but I don't follow up. I'm just afraid of his DP, which he actually capitalizes on and just takes his turn back with the stand light punch. All right, so I think this is a good defensive option here by me. After you, after you block Akuma's crutch medium kick in the fireball and he activates, he's actually plus frames, right? After he dashes up, he's actually plus three over here. So you really have no clue whether he's going for throw or going for a follow-up attack. So that's the mix-up, right? And I guess in this in this kind of situation where I have so little HP, I don't want to deal with guessing wrong and possibly losing the round. So what I do here is just reversal. And I was able to reversal, uh, V-shift, sorry, V-shift his crush medium kick. And I think in this instance, I would have liked to see myself punish this with punish this with a uh, EX Soul Spiral but I just get the knockdown which is fine I guess resets the situation back to neutral and right here with oh okay so I kind of missed my super over here I mean I managed to wave punish this but I didn't cancel this in the super which we have been the round but anyway yeah there's a mistake by myself And I think, what happened here is so funny, I think I went for a crouch medium kick. I was going for chip. I was going for chip here. I just wanted to go for the spiral into the super. But I think I caught him mid jump. He was going for air fireball. Which puts him in this reset state. And then the spiral whiffs. He goes for his crouch medium kick in the tatsu, which whiffs. And then I punish, I don't punish that in time. So I just go for this light punch, light punch in the spiral, in the super, for the round. So you can see just how much is going on in a single round, right? Like, it's kind of ridiculous. I think, you know what, I think I was initially going to do three rounds of this, but this is taking so long, so I think I'll just do uh, one round. And um, if you guys enjoyed this sort of content and would like to see more, uh, be sure to subscribe. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, you managed to get something out of this. Thanks for watching and bye.